Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jankmo, and I'll be your host for this next run, which is Minecraft Wool Monument by Baron Bishop. So, before we get started, let's talk about um, uh, our closest uh, or one of our incentives. Um, Infernax Sleep Percent um, coming up um, tonight, I believe. Yeah, in about uh, four hours. And also, there is the bid war for Infernax for the good versus evil ending. Uh, so, as for what the uh, charity is for, uh, Green Gaming is speedrunning to save the planet. Each year, we'll pick a charity that is looking to make an impact on our climate crisis. We only have one planet to live on, and we should do what we can to make sure we can coexist. This year, we're supporting One Tree Planted, where every dollar plant a tree. So... Baron, would you like to take it away? Uh, yep, uh, this is going to be my first time actually running the Minecraft on, on a marathon or in, in a stream in general. Yeah, I will be playing in 1.1, which is not the preferred version. Uh, I just felt like it was going to be much more chilled and relaxed to do. Uh, and uh, I was going to do this for the Indiethon, and this was the version that they said would be more acceptable since Minecraft did uh, get bought by Microsoft. So th so I just kept the same version, but practically, uh, I'm going to delete this world, and then I'm going to create a world. Uh, so we get a countdown in 3, 2, 1. Uh, so basically, this is going to be a random seed run so basically i just created the world without um putting in a seed uh so I, I will be not looking at f3 either because if i did want to submit this to uh the uh, speedrun.com leaderboard uh, i would be disqualified for opening up f3 since anything below um 1.9 it shows the seed in the f3 menu but i do know that uh, sea level is around 64 to 63 um, in this game, so uh, I can, if I want to, keep track of where I am right now. Uh, but right now, I'm just going to be collecting wood, food, and any sheep that I can see immediately, uh, because I will need wool. In the usual run, uh, you would either collect wool, or um, go to a village and uh, trade with villagers. But in 1.1, there's only villages, no, no villagers. Uh, and 1.3 was the actual um, update that actually allowed trading between villagers. Uh, besides that, um, if anyone really knows how the classic game has been played it is a little pretty janky um spam clicking is available since that was still over in before 1.9 uh, so damage is going to be dealt quickly there is no control sprinting in this game uh which uh i totally forgot about uh, until i started playing again and besides that uh, there are no jungle biomes so the hardest point in this run is going to be collecting lapis, which I can't tell where I am exactly uh, without F3, and collecting a brown wool, which can either be collected by getting a rare spawn in a uh, dungeon, or uh, getting the, um, I believe it's point, it's, it's like a 1 in 30 chance for a brown uh, sheep to spawn between uh, sheep flocks when they spawn in. So uh, that is probably going to be the hardest part of the run. Right now, the most um, viable form of uh, health or um, food is going to be uh, cows. Uh, they give the most drops. 
uh, and they have the most um, saturation and um, actual uh, hunger amount given back. Uh, so collecting cows as much as I can will probably be the best way of getting food for the rest of the run. Uh, otherwise, um, getting the mushrooms and some bowls or uh, chickens, which die in one hit from uh, even wooden swords. So they are also a quick and easy source of food because they also will drop no matter what as far as I can tell uh, one chicken breast uh, along with one feather one or two feathers uh, unlike newer versions of the game where it's either they will drop a feather or drop uh, a chicken breast so right now I'm just collecting uh, stone tools and then a furnace or at least two furnaces so that I can smelt food, smelt iron, and then uh, later on when I find a desert biome I can get the green wool dye. Yeah, so it is important to uh, keep that hunger meter uh, up because um, you may have noticed it already, but if that hunger bar on the uh, bottom right is at uh, like there's three like drumsticks of it are lower, you can't sprint. So that is one important aspect of hunger. I believe right now, uh, I'm trying to find a decent cave uh, that will actually get me as close to uh, level 30 or below, because around level 30 is when Lapis does start spawning. Um, though, that's weird. Uh, uh, so, but yeah, level 30 is, even though it's the probably one of the rarest um, levels uh, to go Lapis farming uh, or mining, um, it will have Lapis. Uh, so that is pretty nice given. Uh, so when I'm looking through caves, I'm looking for deep holes, um, iron as a resource, and I'm also uh, looking for either gold, redstone, or diamonds. Uh, I don't think I will be collecting any of those, but maybe the diamond if um, I will have to go strip mining. Uh, but... Uh, they are good indicators of where I am in uh, mines uh, for uh, redstone is between bedrock and uh, level 16 um, same with uh, diamonds I believe and then gold also is spawning around level 30 uh, initially so um, that is a good indicator to tell me if I'm around the correct level uh, I believe I think I found a pretty good cave at the moment, uh, so I'm just going to set up camp here uh, to get some iron uh, tools, as well as uh, smelt the rest of my food off so I can actually get better saturation out of it. Uh, but I'm also going to be at the wary of actually making torches because I usually just run through the game without any torches because they just take time to gather resources and make them uh, but since this is a, a marathon stream and not an actual world record run then I might as well make it at least enjoyable to watch uh, but yep yeah, another thing I'll have to be watching out for is there is no um, shield even though there is sword blocking um, so I don't have the greatest damage reduction uh, from uh, Creeper Blasts, and the Creeper Blasts aren't the best. Um, they weren't really flushed out uh, in early versions of the game, so uh, when, when a Creeper lights, it'll practically pretty much blow up no matter what. 
um, unless I immediately hit it away, which I don't think I'll be able to get um, if they come up behind me. Uh, so that is just one thing I have to listen for when I am uh, in the in the caves, because I usually would have the like most people have the um, uh, subtitles on to listen for cave noises, but uh, that's also another thing with this early version is that they didn't have subtitles for this game. <laughs> See, it's okay to weather digital trees to plant real trees. Oh uh, yeah, so... Let's talk about that a little bit. Your process called photosynthesis. Leaves pull in carbon dioxide and water and use the energy of the sun to convert this into chemical compounds, such as sugars that feed the tree. But as a byproduct of the chemical reaction, oxygen is produced and released by the tree. It is proposed that one large tree can provide a day's supply of oxygen for up to four people. Trees also store carbon dioxide in their fibers, hoping to clean the air and reduce the negative effects that this CO2 could have could have had on our environment. According to the Arbor Day Foundation, in one year a mature tree will absorb more than 48 pounds of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and release oxygen in exchange. Now, a few of my facts that I was going to bring about the old version of Minecraft uh, actually did pertain when I did the no jumping run. Um, slabs in this early game, I don't know how. Uh, it may have been some way they were... We're going to the store, back in a bit. Love you, Dad. Love you. Um, the, uh, I think they were just coded the same way as um, stone slabs because they uh, need um, they, they just break faster with uh, pickaxes. Um, so usually my pickaxe would break before my uh, actual wooden axe would break by the end of the runs. Uh, I don't think this cave is going to be the best location unless I need to uh, just start mining. So I'm gonna check down this corridor to see if it goes any deeper, and then I think I'm gonna head out and see if there's a closer cave, otherwise I'm gonna be coming back uh, to this cave. Yeah, I'm guessing if the um, no jumping incentive would have been met, you would have just uh, crafted a bunch of slabs. Uh, yep, uh, it would have been slabs uh, were gonna be the initial uh, use uh, and then it would have been um, getting a bucket along with the shears and iron pickaxe. Because uh, even though you have to use the space button to swim, uh, as long as you don't jump after you land, uh, you touch ground, it does not count as a jump. Yeah. Hmm. Uh. Okay. Now, I don't clearly know where I was when that happened. As you could tell, the uh, skeletons aren't as forgiving as they are in later versions of the game. Uh, so my death was inevitable, uh, as I explained before. Control is not a sprint button. It's not a button at all. So I would have to as quick as I can, double tap W, uh, which is not the fastest, especially on a non-gaming keyboard. So uh, I was inevitably going to get uh, ganged up by the three skeletons and that zombie coming towards me. Uh, but I did just find a ravine, so... I am much more happy with this location, even if I have lost a little bit of time and resources. Nothing I can't 
recover off of, even if I'm just going to be plain, uh, blame, uh, sorry, blindly jumping into the ravine as I just did. The uh, controls for this game, um, it's pretty wonky because there are no shift clicking and dragging, so uh, it's a little tough on crafting abilities, but uh, nothing you can't get used to. Um, the reason why I'm not going to go over to the water over there is because uh, another key feature that not many people uh, remember is that if you uh, try jumping into water, uh, if if there is a uh, if there is uh, a block underneath the water uh, and it's not a two block gap you will take fall damage still. So there is no MLG water bucket strats in 1.1. And water uh, and, wa and lava just do whatever they want, because I don't know how that was made into... The one thing you don't really see, except for Minecraft streamers, is the how many times they would like to have reset the run. <sighs> oh. This has probably been the worst world I have been on in a while. Yeah, and imagine that death from earlier in the run would have constituted a reset in an, an actual PB attempt. Uh, I, if, if this was just practice, I would have just reset, because usually I would have remembered where I, uh, died the first time. <laughs> I, but... I just saw that over death. Oh, man. <laughs> but, uh, this is, this is a real, really big setback. I don't, I think we're going to probably get pushed back to probably 50 minutes if everything goes well. Hopefully I get as lucky um, as I have been on a few runs where I immediately find five brown uh, brown sheep in the same area. Uh, I don't think that will happen, but hopefully it's just at least one. Uh, along with uh, light gray, brown, uh, sorry, light gray, gray, and black wool sheep, because I don't... Uh, want to kill as many skeletons as I don't want to get bones. I just need one if I can get just like that. Uh, they practically just immediately blow up no matter what, uh, as I was saying before, which can come as a pretty big shocker.
Okay. I might have to set the difficulty down to easy, uh, which is not against speedrunning, uh, the speedrunning community rules. Um, but for the safety of not dying for a fourth time, it might be in my best interest. Uh, but uh, daytime is rising quickly, so I can guess it's been around... How many minutes has it been? Uh, we're at around 18 and a half minutes oh, on gosh. the screen right now. I really need to start rolling for luck, or we're going to be pushing this marathon stream pretty far. No swimming in this game, so uh, I try to avoid crossing uh, water as much as I possibly can. The boats in this game are indeed the boats that break upon impact, and I believe they do break upon impact with lily pads, uh, so I also want to avoid riding a slow boat, because the sprint function does not work within boats. Apart from the simplicity of, you know, the early versions of Minecraft, they are a lot less forgiving uh, with everything else. Hopefully this does not give me what I want, and I am kinda annoyed that I might actually start have to go sh digging straight down in a while. Because, uh, Lapis is a rare, rare spawning ore, even if I go to as close to, to the common spawning level it is at. That is why bigger caves with a lot more open air uh, to see visible ore is the best location. Uh, but... I'm gonna turn it down to nor uh, e easy mode. Peaceful will also be a disqualification, so I have to be sure when I do that I don't uh, accidentally click it. But I believe I haven't read into too much of the older version, but I believe it does slow down my hunger saturation. Uh, as well as uh, keep mob spawning down to a minimum. And if I don't die again, those two skeletons fighting over there will probably be all I need for the rest of the run. Uh, ooh, god. Always scary to look at. Uh, I believe one of these caves goes deeper. But it all just ends straight at a water pool. This is not oh, as lucky as I hope it would be.
Yeah, I, I practically did run away like Brave Sir Robin. That is the key feature of this game, is I'm going to be running away from any mob that I see uh, after this. Because I do not want to restart one more time. Is this the, uh... Oh, I don't know if that is the uh, ravine that I died in earlier. Um... I don't think I'm going to take the time to make torches. I'll probably lose them anyways. Uh, no, I'm going to have to make them. Uh, checking the stream again. They look pretty dark. So, for the safety of visibility, doesn't matter. Crap cave spawns anyways. This is not looking good today. Nope, this is a different ravine. hope that this cave goes deeper, uh, which... <sighs> it does not seem to like me today. Oh, jeez. I believe I'm just gonna... Can I get another time check for a second? Uh, we're at 20... We're... I guess for right now it'd be like 26 minutes. 26 minutes? Okay, uh, I believe I will... Skip looking for Lapis at the moment and save it for last. I'm just gonna... Get a shear, collect a wool find a desert to get green dye uh, and then I will save lapis for last was weird my w key just didn't work uh, but yeah i need a desert and as long as daylight is up sheep will spawn better than wandering at night so i think i should take the opportunity to do that instead oh, but this cave is so so tempting oh uh did i pass by that cave at one point yep see like this that causes fall damage even though usually it wouldn't and it always makes me forget when I jump into a ravine at the bottom of it, I see water.
Jesus Christ, that scared me. Uh, I don't know if that was picked up through the stream, but uh, I might have aggroed uh, an Enderman, and it was teleporting behind me. I got a dog. I got two dogs. I'm gonna keep those. Uh, hopefully they can protect me. Oh, that is a deep looking mine. And it is nighttime, so sheep spawning would probably be hard. Is that a mine shaft? Looking at that. I have uh, string now. If needed be, I can start crafting a few wool at the moment. Uh, uh, there are no, uh, to the best of my knowledge, there are not going to be any chests in minecarts. Minecart chests were not invented uh, until later. Uh, so I will have to avoid the mine shafts as much as possible. Uh, because they also still have um, poison spider spawners. Uh, so they are going to be the biggest contender in my death. Get move it. Jeez. I don't, I don't think... Uh, Getting the dogs were the smartest choice. I would like some more iron. Because uh, I do not want to continue having a uh, wooden or a stone pick. Stone pick is pretty fast, but it will be faster to mine with the... Uh, Iron pick, if accessible. Lava. In nine minutes, um, pff, uh, one in a thousand, like a pink sheep spawning. Uh, well, actually, I think I might be deep enough. Uh, I can just throw this out. Yep, I am deep enough, so if I do not find. Lapis, uh, we probably won't finish this Minecraft run, sadly. Uh, found Lapis as a godsend. Uh, so uh, if I can, what, in seven minutes get back up to the surface, find a brown sheep along with a flock of other sheep and also find a desert I believe we're we're gonna be good with this <laughs> oh jeez I should have just played car quest again that would have been <laughs> oh jeez Mm -hmm. Yep, honestly, I, th I should have just uh, uh, put in green gaming for the uh, seed, because I looked at that, and it looked pretty good as a, as a level spawn, so... But whatever, I I'm actually fine with um, the time crunch. Uh, So I believe... Oh, perfect. I do need to get you.
Twelve, three, fourteen, fifteen. I need one more sheep along with a brown sheep to spawn and then a desert, which I don't think will be here. Pass that ridge. Yep. Not have my sword out. I thought I blocked that, uh, which I should just have open now. Among these, nope, not all. Brown sheep, none whatsoever. Well, we did find a desert, uh, but, and a village that is useless to me. Um, how much time left on this? Uh, we're at like 38 minutes. 38 minutes? Oh. Uh, then we might, we might be able to pull it off. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, if I can, if I can get it, uh, over to that, uh, over there. Uh, to that snowy biome, uh, I think, I think there is a chance that, uh, one could spawn. problem with looking through a uh, snowy field is that white sheep blend in perfectly. Oh, 
Is that a dark colored sheep of some sort? It's gray. All, all the sheep here, and yet no brown wool sheep that I want. This is... Gonna have to keep uploading chunks up. Oh, uh, I believe that is a brown wool right there. I th we can end this run uh, after I smelt the uh, cactus off and uh, clear my inventory, and we can start crafting everything up. So I do not need to make light gray dye and gray dye, so that is fast. I do need to make my bone meal for classic white. Oh, I need that one. One. I keep throwing the wrong things. Uh, missing. Okay, uh, I think after I collect all the dye, I can start crafting all the wool. What is the last one I'm missing? Black. And that is time on that. GG. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. Now I now I regret uh, pressing F3 because uh, that did just disqualify this whole run. <laughs> but yep, out of out of that end run does end when I uh, get everything and then press F3 and that should just end recording. Um, because ah, <laughs> uh, we did not get the uh, one in one thousand chance for a pink wool to spawn, so, <laughs> but, that. Okay, cool. Tough luck, but you did it. Yep. Uh, I don't have any shoutouts, uh, so I, I guess this is it. Any last uh, donation incentives or anything of that matter? And then we can just probably send it. Okay, yeah.
All right, so sit back, chat. Uh,